Guess what? Everyone, everyone who has joined today, what we have realized. Uh, much I won't uh, extend. I I am excited. You know, like I, I'm really excited. I can go on. Bold <laughs> and future leaders, ladies and gentlemen. And please put your hands together tonight to win ours. God. Oh my God. Former student is a is a moderator. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, this is this is this is the best ever. I mean. This is the environment, you know. It's been 27 plus years. You're right, that I've so much to do. One of the things, First today is to learn from Anthony because that's where the eye contacts lie. I think I'm doing that right now, but I wasn't doing a few, few, many, few seconds back. And for the rest of the time, uh, one or two minutes I have, I will, I will do so. So, so I want to go back. I, I grew up in a village. Uh, imagine, and in, in not even Dhaka, the capital city. And uh, if anybody wants to know my academic backgrounds, early on, village schools, simple schools. I was a backseater. But did anybody tell?
I, I have some colleagues, I, I go and conduct training programs in Malaysia and, 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 and all that. And I know one or two of, from Malaysia has joined here as well. And the rest of you. Having said this, I take leave right now and I'll be joining again when, when the time comes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> And together again, thank you, Kazibai, for being so generous. And I'm really, we are really humbled and appreciate that. So, you know what? Uh, a couple of months back, I was actually asking Rahi, uh, Rahi Khandakar, look, uh, I need to improve my speaking, frankly speaking. I told him, I want to improve my presentation style. I am, and I was a stammer. You know, I couldn't speak you know, properly in earlier days, and even today I stammer, frankly speaking, let me tell you so. I just spoke with him and frankly said, I want to improve my presentation. How can we help me? So give me somebody who can help me, guide me, coach me. He said, wait a minute, hang on a second, I'm gonna find you. So he said, here is this guy, Anthony. Okay, then I said, what about, you know, if I can learn it free? <laughs> How can I do that? And only possible way is doing so is if I can bring him in Bangladesh, I can, you know, get the benefit for myself and at the same time, others can get benefit. Let me, hear, let me confess it. It might not win your heart, but he has already won my heart. And that's the next person connecting with him. One person I really admire so much in Bangladesh because of his passion because of his persistence, because of where he has come from to where it is now today. I think you've got to know the next person I'm going to introduce, our strategic partner tonight, the founder of Future Icon. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me to welcome Yusuf Ifti. Oh, thank you so much. I am so excited for today's program because only for Anthony Lee, because Anthony Lee is a brilliant speaker today, and nowadays it's a very time demanding topic. So, at first, I want to give a special gratitude and thanks to CKH Network, especially Kamrul Hassan, for bringing this for Bangladeshi participants. At the same time, I want to give a special thanks, Mr. Rahi Khandukar, for uh, making this possible. And Finally, it's a very, very, very pleasure for us that today we have our special and keynote speaker, none other than Anthony Lay. Uh, one quote I want to share, which is training is a such a thing, so it's a building our one to, I, I am not one to extension my mobile mobile data. Uh, uh, I'd like to... No, please unmute and speak. I have muted uh, everyone. Right, right, right. So, uh, from my side, welcome, Anthony Lee. Welcome our today's another speaker like Kazi Mohammed Sir is a number one legendary and leadership trainer in Bangladesh and he is my mentor. I am learning a lot of things from sir and today this is a really pleasure for us that uh, Future Icon as a strategic partner with this session and this credit goes to especially coach Kamul Hassan. So I salute you sir for uh, giving this opportunity with thank you. Future Icon. So thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. It's my pleasure because together we can win so many people's heart but if I want to go alone I only can win maybe probably few but you see the impact together me approached Rahi that I have a problem man I want to improve and then he said okay Anthony then I thought okay hang on a second if we can do it why not bring some other partners and before we go to the Anthony ladies and gentlemen please I am requesting Mr. Rahi Khandaka to say a few words about Anthony to hand it over to him for the next one hour. Rahi. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank
Thank you, thank you, Kamrul. Thank you, uh, Ifti Bhai. Thank you, um, Kazi Bhai. Uh, see, as I, I told you, Kazi Bhai. Normally, it's like you know, he was like uh, an Anthony. Bhai is a thing. It's a it's a bro. Okay, so in in Bangladesh, it's a bhai. When you say bhai, it's a bro. So and and it's really. Uh, I mean, in Aussie culture, we all call mate, but then um, in Bangladesh, it's not easy. It's not the culturally, I mean, we are not conditioned to call uh, someone bro or mate, uh, which is uh, kind of like, you know, has an authoritative um, position in our life. Anyway, um, let me, uh, let me uh, get back about seven years back. You know, we all go through ups and downs of our life and then sometimes that could be relationship breakdown. That raising my standard of living, but I forgot to listen with a beautiful smile.
you doesn't just apply to the camera. It also applies to if you're speaking on stage, if you're speaking in front of a small room of people, or even if you're you're just speaking one on one with another person. These things all apply. And so we're going to look at how we can build your confidence. We're going to look at what it takes to become a world class speaker. And I'm also going to share with you some really simple ideas and concepts, which if you take and you implement them into the way that you communicate, it's going to take your your ability to communicate to the next level. It's going to, it's going to transform you as a speaker. So we'll get to those later on. And then towards the end of the session, we're also going to let you know how you can learn more uh, from, from, from me and, and, and how you can dive even deeper. But we'll get to that later on. So let's, first of all, let's jump straight into this and let's look at why communication skills are so important. And, and I want to share a quick story with you, which I've noticed over the last sort of eight months since the world's gone into lockdown. Now, especially over here in Australia, what, what I've noticed within the corporate world, so a lot of the speaking that I do is all within the corporate world. And what I've noticed is that there have, a lot, a lot of the companies who I worked for, there have been people, there have been members of that organization that over the last few years, they've flown under the radar. They haven't really been noticed. And you've had these high flyers that are always there at the forefront. Since we've gone into this world, of virtual communication, where we're now all communicating on camera, there's been a big shift. It's almost like this camera has leveled the playing field. And what I've noticed is that those people who are the high flyers, the people that have done really well, some of them are really worried about communicating on camera because it's new to them. And so they're really worried about damaging their credibility and that reputation that they have built up. And what I've noticed though, is that some of those people that over the years have flown under the radar, they've embraced jumping on camera and they've embraced this world of virtual communication. And all of a sudden, these people that were, that were unnoticed before have suddenly started to rise up to the top. So there's a big shift happening. And we're still, I, I believe that we're still, we're still early days in this world of virtual communication. And if you can learn those skills, this could be a really big opportunity for you to make your mark, to really, to really step out there, to be able to connect with people and to be able to, to, to not only win the hearts and minds, but also become somebody who is an authority, who is able to, to influence and is able to use their words to lead people in into a new into a new, a new direction. So make is that they rely heavily on their skill level. So if we were to take a box, if this was a box, and we were to take all of your skill, all of your your level of education, what you're good at, and put it all into all all inside this box. So you've got your skill, you've got your ideas. You've got your, your messages, the, what you're trying to say to the world. You've got your qualifications. They're all inside this box. So this box is jam-packed with amazing... ...that you can deliver to the world or that you can or that, or that you could that you could uh, offer an organization it's all packed up inside this box here but let's say I'm going to change color let's say that your ability to communicate is only this big so this is your ability to communicate The problem here is you might have, I see a lot of people who they get frustrated because they see other people that aren't necessarily as qualified as them doing a lot better, that they're moving faster through the ranks. And that is because that person has the ability to communicate. So 
their even though their skill level might not be as big, their ability. to communicate shows the skill level that they have. So what we want to focus on is growing your ability to communicate so that you can demonstrate your skill level, so that you can demonstrate how much value you can, you can offer to the world. to an organization. So your ability to communicate will have a direct impact. Now, what I am gonna say with this, I, I believe the way that the world is going at the moment, and this is just my belief, I believe that the way that the world is going at the moment is we're going to end up in a position where we have some really good thinkers. So let's just take, say, the tech industry, for example. You can have people that are amazing at creating apps. These are people that that And when these two collaborate, and I saw somebody mention in the comments before, I saw somebody uh, mention in, in, in the comments before that collaboration is a key for today's world, win-win. If you are somebody who can communicate, you're going to be in that position where you can help others. You're going to be a sought-after person because those people with the ideas are going to need you to help them share that message with the world, to help them share their idea, their product, their service, whatever it is. So communication skills are so important. Communication skills are, are what have got me to the position that I am in now, where I make my full-time living off of, off of traveling around the world, speaking at corporate events, sharing my ideas, training people how to be better public speakers. And that's all come from the ability to communicate, which is really strange because let me, let me share a quick story with you. When I was when I was about seven years old, now this voice that you're hearing now, this quite the entire school was in the was in the sports hall. We were doing a rehearsal and we were, we started singing the songs. And this voice is very loud. And all you could hear when we started singing was me singing my little heart out. And the teachers stopped everything in front of everybody. And they highlighted me and they said, Anthony, can you just pretend to sing? Because all we can hear is your voice. And at seven years old, that, that, that had a huge impact on me. and it made me hate the sound of my own voice. It made me a message. And I use it as my tool to travel around the world. Now, it's important, though, that we don't just focus Now, it's, this is this is really important that, that you understand this because one of the big mistakes that I see a lot of people weeks and weeks rehearsing, rehearsing, rehearsing. Thing, trying to work out, like try, trying to memorize those words so that you've got it all clearly in your mind. You see, like so many people do this, and a lot of the people that I coach, they're, they're, they're so focused on what they're going to say 
that what they miss is the bigger part of this, which is how you are going to say those words. So if we look at the three V's of of communication. You've got the verbal. You've got the vocal. And then you've, which means there are 93% of, of communication tools that you might be missing out on. And the, I think it was, it was about, 38% was, was the way that you say those words. And then it was 55% was the way that they are visually represented. Now, if we look at this, if you are somebody who focuses on just what you are going to say, just those words, and you memorize those words over and over and over again. Bear with you tonight. Just as you're watching me, watch that I use them. The, the stuff that I'm going to share with you, it isn't pie in the sky ideas. These are the tools that I use as a speaker on stage. So the words that I'm going to say, I, I, I have a structure that I use to create my content so I know what I'm going to say. I'm not one to script. Most of what I most of what I say is done on a framework. I'm more interested. I am more interested in, in the vocal and the visual, the way that I am using my voice and the visual that I'm giving you, which you'll see I use a few different ways of, of being visual. A lot of it comes from the body language and so on. On camera, you want to be using your body language. There was a there was a video I was going to try and I was going to try and pull it down from YouTube and then put it up here for you to to see. But uh, I'm side of things, so we'll get a little bit more into these later. Later on. But it's really important right now that you understand that you don't want to be focusing just on the words that you are going to say. You must do your awareness here is that whenever you are communicating, when Whenever you are communicating, you are always in influencing. Now, there are a lot of people that say to me, I'm just not influential. Every single person is influential. My question is, are you influencing? in a positive way or are you influencing in a negative way every time you open your mouth every time that you get which is then going to make them take some kind of action. And when we're communicating the action that, that we want to take, it could, there could be many different outcomes, but we want them ultimately to move, move in a positive direction or move closer towards us so that they find out more. So if the way that you are presenting yourself is somebody who's just low energy, it doesn't really sound like you're that interested in, in talking to somebody. What that's going to do is that's going to push the person away. So you're going to be influencing in a negative 
negative way. So you really need to be on stage for a long time. They understand that they need to bring their best self forward because they need to be influencing. They need to be affecting the way that you think the way that you feel so that you take some sort of action that action is to pay attention it's to lean closer it's to move in and and want to hear more so just be just be mindful that every time that you are communicating they look like they know what they're talking about They sound like they know what they're talking about. And they're able to connect both, both of those things to the viewer, to the person who is listening. And, there, and the good speakers are really good at making that connection through stories, through using metaphors you're using lots of different techniques to bring moving pretty fast but that's because i want to give you as much as i can in the time that we have perfect yes 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 excellent yes we've got lots of yeses everyone's on board so what i want to share with you a, a big yes there from Kazi. Okay, perfect. I'm now going to bring up a my, my iPad. So what you're going to see now, I'm big on looking down the lens. I'm big on making eye contact with with all of you watching. But for this, I'm going to be bringing up my my iPad. So what you're going to see is me shoot down into the corner. And you're going to see the top of my head. I'm doing this because I want to show this to you. This is what I call the confident virtual container. And I've distilled it down in into a system that I can teach, which I call the confident virtual presenter. But to be honest with you, This is really called the superhero speaker system. I call it the confident virtual presenter because that sounds more professional, but really it's called the superhero speaker system. Now, the reason for it being, I mean, back when I was 18, even just having a conversation with One on one, I used to find it really awkward. I was a socially anxious person. Fast forward to today, and I, as you've already heard, I've done over 850 live shows. I've been seen by over 5 million people on TV. I've been on loads of different, uh, over 100 radio shows. I talk with the, the biggest uh, magic show, The Illusionist. Now, I'm not saying that to impress you. I'm saying that because if somebody who it was a shy, socially anxious person can transform into this, what you see now, then it's this entertainment show, which I can connect with an audience. And I believe that everybody has that. Everybody has that inner superpower that they can tap into and they can unleash. 
happy old you in the center. Excuse my drawing. It is into this in a second, but we need to be able to create good content. The next part is we need to be able to connect that to an audience. So we'll be able to create great content, be able to connect it to an audience. And then the final part of this is we've got to be able to they get the when it comes to the major side of thing so the difference here is somebody who is able to create going to be I made that I was able to captivate being out there and being that captivating uh, person. So let me bring the iPad screen back up again. So we've got create, connect, captivate. When you know how to create amazing content, you're able to connect that to an audience and you're able to captivate them, then you're going to have all the tools that you need to feel more confident, to be able to have more impact. Now, you'll notice that on the, around the sides of these circles, there are those little dotted lines. Each one of these pillars, these main core pillars, has then got like a, a subsection, so to speak. So when it comes to creating amazing content, to be able to deliver that content, first of all, you need to know who you are and who they are. So, so when I say this, what what do, I, what do I mean? If you don't understand who you are as a communicator, then where I present and I'm very casual, but I'm very deliberate about who I am, how I want to be perceived by my audience. So what I'd like you to think about here is if I was to ask you, to write down three words that would be what you would want someone to say after they'd seen you speak. What are those three words? And in order for you to be seen as those
So understand who you are, but then also understand who you're talking to uh, a, a weekly q a with with a certain community and so within that i don't dress up in a suit the next part of this is obviously the content itself now i know that i said that words only account for seven percent of communication but obviously we need to have good content. We need to be able to have a good message that we can share and have it structured in a way. Now, we haven't got enough time tonight to, to dive in deep as to how I structure content, but I am very deliberate about the way that I go about it. I mentioned before that I don't script anything, but I do have a process that I go through that helps me explain ideas to an audience in a way which makes it simple for them to understand. And it also covers all the different learning styles. So you, you have your, your, your visual Drawing instead. So, as I say, I have a process. Then think about your content. Is your content structured in a way that is easy for people to understand. Does it to build your confidence is to start getting active. And to start working on tonight and you were the presenter what is what one thing that you would like the the positive yes amazing influencer i love it pillar we're going to get into confidence in in a little while i'm going to show you how you how you can build your confidence and Whereabouts some people make a mistake when it comes to building their confidence. When it comes to the connection phase, now, depending upon what, this is whereabouts it changes slightly, whether you're speaking on stage, speaking one-on-one, -on -one, or speaking on camera. Because we're dealing with camera tonight, this this first part of the of the, of the out on stage the, the, it is it is so important before i came on this on this this uh, this webinar tonight 
there's a process that I go through to make sure that I'm ready so that when I come on camera, I'm ready to go. Uh, so if you're, if you're talking about camera, it's the setup, making sure that all your gear's right. If it's going on stage, there's a, there's a process that you need to go through before you walk out on stage. You can't just, you capture somebody's attention in the first few moments, then what's gonna happen is they're gonna tune out, especially in this virtual space. You are just one little red X or little cross up in the corner of the screen from being turned off. So it's really important that you engage somebody so that they don't start looking at other tabs, so that they don't start I'm talking stories for business, stories that have an, an intention of connecting what you're saying relatable, but it was also a quick story. I didn't spend too long on that story. So you You've got to be a good storyteller as well to create that, to be able to do that and then be memorable. And the way that you're going to do that is with this captivation pillar. This is, this is where the gold lies. Rahi mentioned earlier on about digging for gold. This is where the gold lies. So when it comes to Captivate, the first part that we need to be, that we need to be thinking about is, and I love it that you all typed in energetic uh, in, in, into the box there. Captivate an audience is how How are you using your voice when you are communicating? We need to use this instrument to, to reach down through the camera and grab your body language. See, this is so important because if you are stood there into the mall tonight, but there are six elements of the voice that what
because they're able to communicate and you're just going to get really frustrated watching all of these, these people around you do that. So that is the confident virtual presenter model that if you can, if you can nail all of that, then it's going to put you in a really good position to be an amazing speaker, whether that's on camera, whether that's on stage, whether that's one-on-one. -on -one. Let me drop this back down again so I'm back up on the screen. Was that clear to everybody and was that helpful? Just type a yes in the comments box if you found that helpful, the way that I've managed to break down what some people see as a complex subject into something now that is just three main pillars. So we've got yes from Rahi, yes, yes, big yes, excellent. Very clear, perfect. Now, interestingly, with so with what I just shared with you, drawing those circles, that was a very visual way of me sharing a message with you. And it makes so I, I used a bit of story while I was in there, and I've used that, that visual thing of, of physically drawing it out for you, included a little bit of data and stuff in there. So I've, I've covered most of the, of the learning styles through going through that process. So what I want to dive into, into now is, first of all, how to build your confidence, because confidence is a big, big, big part of this. Let me, let me, let me think about how I'm going to, let me, okay. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump forwards to go backwards. This is, this is what we're going to do. It's going to be exciting. I'm now going to share with you what are the three secrets to world-class speakers. Okay, I'm going to share with you the three secrets of world-class speakers. These are the three things that if you take these three, three things and you start to apply them to every time that you communicate, it's going to take you to the next level. Now, as I explain these three things to you, we're also going to dive in and I'm going to give opening keynote speaker at a big conference. There was about 700 people, I think it was. And I'd, so I'd, I'd opened up the day. When I do my keynote, I introduce some of the entertainment side of things as well. So it's all really exciting. And I, I was packing up my stuff after I've done my little presentation. And there was a speaker. Now, this, this gentleman, he was an industry speaker. So he was an internal speaker within the organization. So he wasn't a professional speaker. He didn't get up on stage that much, probably maybe two or three times a year, and probably not to very big audiences each time. So this is somebody who isn't a skilled speaker. And he said to me, look, I'm speaking later on this morning. Could you give me any tips on how to be a better speaker? Now, I probably had about 10 minutes with this guy. And obviously, I can't teach somebody how to be a, a, a perfect public speaker in 10 minutes. But I gave him some advice. But it did get me thinking. And it got me thinking, if I had 10 minutes to explain to somebody how to be a better public speaker, what would I share with them? And so it got me thinking. And I looked at the way that I present and the way that I manage to engage an audience. But then I also looked at all of the other speakers. Now, I, I am C at a lot of conferences. So I get to see a lot of different speakers taking the stage. And the, the benefit for me there is I get to analyze them. I get to look at them and see what they're doing. And I get to see what works because I get to look at them and the audience at the same time to find out what is really engaging and what really draws an audience in. And there are three things that I have noticed with every single speaker who is what I would class as one of the top world-class speakers. All of that, every single one of them have these three things. These three things I'm gonna share with you right now. So the first part, so the first secret ingredient of a world-class speaker is They have energy, and energy came up so much in the chat box earlier on. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna add a couple of other words here. I use the word energy because, uh, as I've already mentioned, I like to be somebody who's energetic. I'm quite fun and uh, and lively when I'm on camera. When I'm on stage, I'm exactly the same. Energy. There's another way of saying this, and that is enthusiasm. Should. So choose whichever word feels right for you there. Now, the reason why I say that is I mean, Rahi mentioned earlier on um, about the, 
the whole energy drinks and, 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 and sugar and that kind of thing and, and having lots of energy. When I say the word energy, a lot of people think that that's what I mean, that you've got to jump on stage and, be, and look like you've, you've just had a, a huge intake of sugar. That is not the case. For me, energy, yes, that is being very lively on stage. But let's take somebody like Simon Sinek, for example. He isn't necessarily so lively and bouncy on stage, but he has got a lot of passion and a lot of enthusiasm for what he is saying. So don't think that when I say energy, it means that you've got to jump on and, and be leaping about all over the place. If you were to bring a lot of passion about your topic, or if you were to bring like real enthusiasm, like, this is really exciting, like, you need to listen to this. It engages that audience. It captivates that audience. So my question to you here is the last time that you had to present on camera or present live, so you were stood on stage or in front of a room of people, did you present with energy or passion or enthusiasm? Or did that little voice inside your head hold you back and make you subdue yourself slightly let me let me let me we'll come back to this 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 is you when 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 you were younger like super excited jumping around all over the place in this circle here allowing yourself to be all energetic think of a a, a kid in the supermarket, they, they, they have no problem with, with singing out loud. They have no problem with shouting out. They're, they're free to express themselves. And as we go through life, we, like, we'll, we'll go through school and we'll, we'll be told to be quiet and this, that, and the other. But what ends up happening is we start to get suppressed and we start to pull ourselves down until we become this person here who thinks that they're happy, but they're only communicating here. What we need to do, and I like to call this stretching the wrapper, is we need to allow ourselves to be more. We need to allow ourselves to express more. And when we get put up in front of a group of people, when we get put on camera, we freeze up, we clam up, and we go down. We make this smaller. It's so important, and this comes from building confidence, that we allow ourselves to stretch. We allow ourselves to be more. When I very first got into the world of, of entertainment, I was so worried about doing things wrong. I was so worried about what people thought of me that I really started to shrink as an entertainer. And I, I, I don't think that I was the, when I very first started, I was the most engaging entertainer. One, one day I just kind of decided, do you know what? It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to go out there and I'm going to be me. And I let myself, I let myself loose is, is probably a good way of saying it. And the, the audience reacted to me completely differently. And I was like, wow, that was amazing. And so over the years, I've allowed, I've started to stretch that wrapper. I've allowed myself to just be me. I've allowed myself to express myself, myself in more positive ways. And especially on the camera, this is so important. This, this lens that I'm speaking to you through now, it's like an energy vortex. It, it sucks out a lot of that energy, that enthusiasm, and that passion. So when you're on camera, you need to bring it even more. So it is so important. But you need to start stretching your wrapper. You need to allow yourself to be you. You need to allow yourself to share your passion. Stop restricting yourself down through fear and open up. Stretch that wrapper. So the first part is energy, passion, enthusiasm. The next part is confidence. All great speakers, they look confident when they're on stage. Now, there's a big difference between, between being confident and so having that confidence of, of being completely unstoppable and the confidence that most people experience when they're up on stage. Even great speakers will have this feeling inside their tummy before they walk up on stage. They won't, they'll have this, this sort of unnerving feeling. I get it all the time. Even when I'm coming on tonight to do this presentation, there's a feeling inside, but that is an energy that I now use. It used to be fear. Don't get me wrong. It used to be fear and I could identify it as fear, but I've now learned to see it as an energy. So, so confidence doesn't mean that you feel completely fearless. It means that 
that you still move forwards and you're able to hold yourself in a way that demonstrates confidence even when that feeling is there. And that comes with experience. And we're going to dive into confidence a bit more in just a, in just, in just a moment. But confidence, the, one of the biggest killers of trust is a lack of confidence. And confidence isn't something that is a tangible thing. We can't feel confidence. We, we can't grab it and hold on to it. Confidence is something that we that we intuitively kind of pick up on somebody. And we get that through the way that they're using their voice and the way that they're using their body. And it, we pick up on it, these subconscious messages, we read their body language, we do it automatically, and we'll just get a, this, this thing about somebody who just go, I don't think that they're very confident. I'm not going to trust what they're going to say. So we need to work on building our confidence. So let's, let's before I give you the last one, because the last one's going to, we're going to, it's going to throw a bit of a curveball. We got every, you know, uh, you know, they don't know as long as you are in. Okay. Yeah. As long as you control it. And we'll, we'll, we'll get to that now. We'll get to that now. So confidence is a, is, is a funny thing because a lot of people just go, oh yeah, you just got to just go out there and just be confident. Now for, for you to become confident, Confident comes from repetition. There are, there are, there are three parts to, to confidence. Confidence, let's just draw another triangle. Maintain that strength, they'll be able to maintain running that distance. And it's exactly the same with, with speaking, with communicating. We need to be actively doing it. We need to be, if we want to be good on camera, we need to be going on camera as much as possible so that we stay active. There's a, there's a period of time over December and January where the corporate industry is, is, is quiet and I don't have very many gigs. And over those two months, I won't get on stage very much. When it comes to that first event that I do after those two months, I am nervous more than I normally am because my muscle has started to weaken because I haven't been on stage as much as I used to be. Right now, going on stage, obviously because of, because of everything that's gone on in the world and COVID and stuff and not having the stages to speak on. Now, when I do go on stage, because I'm still doing some live events, I, it, I kind of feel like I've gone back, back a bit because I get that, 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 that nervous feeling a bit more in my stomach but the good thing is i know now that it's an energy to drive me forwards rather than hold me back but it's there and that's because i'm not working on that muscle all the time i'm speaking a lot more now virtually so i'm now really in order to make you feel more confident the knowledge that you're going to need to that you're going to need to invest your time in learning so to Tonight, you're here and you're learning some new skills because I'm teaching you some stuff. But let me ask you this. What else could you do to improve your level of skill, to improve your knowledge around speaking, around communicating on camera? What else can you do? Is there podcasts that you can listen to? Is there YouTube videos that you that you, that you can go and watch. Later on, you're going to hear about how you can learn more from me. Do you, is, is that another way that you can improve your skill? And then finally, it is also situational. Confidence is situational. And what do I mean by this? There will be some environments where you feel unstoppable doing a certain task but then i could get take you into a completely different environment get you to do the same no problem at all i think the biggest audience that i've done live in front of me face to face is seven thousand. i've got no problem standing in front of that many people on stage but if i'm in the audience of say a comedy show and i can see that the comedian walks towards me and i can see that he's about to say something to me then all of a sudden I tense up in my seat. I feel really nervous because I'm suddenly in a situation that I'm unfamiliar with. It's something that I'm not in control of. So we need to think about 
whereabouts we need to build our confidence. Whereabouts is that place? And in order to do that, there, let me draw this out for you quickly. When we're training, because in order to be good, it's, it's, it's probably going to be one of the, like a postcard quote I'm about to say now. In order to be good, you first need to find a place to be bad. Okay, so you can't be good straight away. And you've got to do things and do them badly, first of all. So, so if we look at this, if we, if we take this as your level of skill, say to people, is you want to train here. So this is your training ground. Where you are unskilled, but you feel safe. So let me give you an example. When I used to come up with a new uh, magic trick, let's say, when I used to come up, come, up, come up with a new magic trick, before I did it in a show, what I would do is I would do it for friends, people that had seen me do stuff before, people that if I did it wrong, it wouldn't matter too much. So I was unskilled because I didn't know the trick or I hadn't performed it enough, but I was in somewhere, but I was in a safe place. So if it did go wrong, it didn't matter too much. If I had done that trick somewhere that I was unskilled and unsafe, had it gone wrong, it would have left a negative impression for me moving forwards and probably would have stopped me doing it again. So this is an area that you want to avoid when you are building your confidence muscle. And initially, you want to avoid there. When you're in this place here where you're safe and you're skilled, then what I like to say is that you've plateaued out. And it's time for you to, if you want to constantly improve yourself, that's where you want to, to then go, okay, let's mix things up. Let's try something different. This area here where it's unsafe, and it's but you are skilled is where you will find you end up presenting most of the time. So if I do a corporate gig, so this is where the work happens. This is where the, all the, all the doing happens. So if I'm doing a corporate event, for example, if, I'm, if I've been worrying about failure, so this is where you're going to spend most of your time doing the doing part of things. You want to train here. Now, there is going to be a point in time where you will need to leap into this area, but you want to have built up the skill enough so that when you do go into that, you're going to be, you're going to be able to get yourself out of trouble if it happens. Now, an example here would be when I, I did my first part on TV. I, I, it's not something that I could train for particularly because I, it, was an, it was an environment that I couldn't get access to. The first time I did TV, it was the first time I did TV. I had no option. I had to take that, that leap of faith. But I had built my skill up enough around what I was going to perform that I knew that I would be safe and that I would be able to get out of any issues had they come up. So when you're building your confidence muscle, think of here, where you're unskilled and you are safe. Now, if you're thinking... How can I build my skill going on camera? It's easy. There is a place where you can be unskilled and feel safe on camera. If every single day you just do 60 seconds speaking about something that's happened or what you've got planned for the day, you'll be surprised at how quickly you just get really comfortable at speaking to a lens. Because this is a weird thing. Speaking to this lens here, because I know that you are watching, but I'm just staring at this black lens here. And it, it, you've got to learn to, you've, you've got to learn to almost see it as a person. You've got to almost start loving the lens so that when you talk to it, it does feel like you're talking to 
another person. And that only comes through practice. So if, if you want to improve your camera skills, then just start talking to, into the camera each and every single day. Every single one of us has a mobile phone with a camera on it. It's so easy to train yourself these days. So that, that is building your confidence. So what I want you to do very quickly now on a piece of paper, where's it gone? Here we go, got the last one to do here. But just write something down now. What skill do you need to learn? Then how are you gonna start building your muscle? What are you going to do over the next, over the next seven days, two weeks, 30 days, what are you going to do to build that muscle so that you start getting comfortable and confident going on camera? And then remember, it's situational. Where are you going to do this where about you feel safe? Have you got a group? Group of people who, who, you, who you could get together and you just practice standing up in front of them and talking if you want to Get, get your public speaking skills up or are you just going to start getting your camera out each day and filming yourself for 60 seconds think of those three things those three things will be a game changer in building your confidence it is active it is a skill and it is situational those three things is what's going to really help you build your confidence and this is genuine organic confidence not fake confidence genuine organic confidence Video blogging is what I want to do. Yeah, absolutely. And video blogging, just, just the fastest way you'll learn is to, is to start putting it out there. Okay, yeah, nice idea, loving the lens. Well, yeah. So with loving the lens, somebody said to me once, a, a really cool way to do do this is to just in the back of your mind just be thinking i've got a secret that i'm holding that i'm holding from you and if you if, if you have that at the back of your mind it causes you to look at the camera slightly differently or, or the or the or that you've got a cheeky little secret it just makes you look at the camera slightly differently in a way that connects more or than than if you just don't have anything going on inside your mind so that's just a little tip that someone gave me i've used it in the past i've i've, I've got comfortable now just just looking at the lens so I, I don't i don't have that going on because i've just got comfortable with it but that's come as i say from practice that's come from me doing it over and over and over again okay then the final okay so this is the final part this is the, the final one here because i've re just realized what the time i got so excited i got carried away the final part here so we've got these are the, the remember these are the three secrets Confidence. I've now told you how to increase your confidence. The passion, enthusiasm, the energy. That's something that you've got. To, you're probably going, what? What do you mean contrast? Let me explain to you. What I mean by contrast is that they make it interesting. In the way that they use their voice, the way that they use their body, it's not monotone. It's not the same the whole way through. Sit back at the beginning. If I was to stand, now, I said about this about the video, the guy that was really boring. If for the last, so I've been speaking now for, I think, over an hour. If I'd spent the last hour talking to you like this without really moving, I actually find it really hard to do. But if if I spoke to you for the last hour like this, and I told you everything that I've just told you, speaking to you like this, I'm pretty sure that most of you probably would have tuned out by now. I find it really hard to do that. But a monotone voice, a monotone body makes you boring. If you think about a hypnotist, the way that a hypnotist will get somebody to go into that state of hypnosis is they'll, they, they, they will speak in a monotone mode, look into my eyes, and everything will become very still, causes a person to go to sleep. As a speaker, the last thing that you want to do is send your, send your participants to speak, so you need to add that contrast. The way that I've been doing this, and I said back at the beginning, watch what I do, because what I'm going to share with you is these, these aren't pioneers. 
the sky ideas. This is what I actually do. But I've added contrast the whole way through. If you were to watch this back and you were to listen to the way that I have used my voice, you'll notice that I, times I've been excited and I've sped it up. But then there have been other times when I've been explaining something where I've slowed it down. I've been much more deliberate in the way that I talk. I've also made it more interesting for you as a viewer so that you keep people engaged. Now, whether that's on camera or as I say, whether that's on stage, all of these things apply. These three rules apply to the way that you communicate in every single way. So hang on, we got uh, so camera, how to hook the audience and connect with, with a common ground. Yeah. So connecting with the common ground comes from stories and how to hook the audience comes from these, these three things and contrast is the one thing that's really going to grab them and pull them in. Cause it's going to stop them wandering off and going to sleep. It's going to keep grabbing their attention because they're going to be what's happening next. So those are the, the, the three things there. We've got another comment there that's come up. So this. So that means you are pretending to be real, just seeing at the camera lens. Uh, okay, I think I understand the question. You are seeing uh, on your device screen hardly. Yes, so I, th I think I understand your, 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 your question here. So that means you're pretending to be real, just seeing the camera lens. So uh, at no time am I pretending to be real. I am being real the entire time. What I'm seeing is, so what I'm trying to do is I'm in my head, what I say to myself is that there are, there are people, there are you guys that are down there that I'm trying to connect with. So I'm trying to reach through and I'm trying to grab you but i know that you're down through that so it's not pretending i genuinely am trying to almost force myself down through this lens so that it almost feels like i'm coming out of your screen that i'm there in the room with you so it's not pretending it, then this is what you would get and you can see now that i'm not making any eye contact with you so throughout this whole presentation i know that we said put your cameras on i have Occasionally, I will look down at some of your faces because I like to see people smiling. It's amazing. But I'm the entire time I'm, I'm focused on this camera. I'm focused, and, and I imagine that you, you are right there with me, right in that in that lens. And I'm trying to reach down, and I'm really trying to trying to connect with you. And that comes that comes from practice because it's so tempting to to look down, to look at the other people, or to even look at yourself. We're all, we're all very attractive people and we, and we want to look at how we look, but it's so important that you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to show a little ninja trick with you here. Let me, uh, let me pull this up. Have I got, I haven't got any, I haven't got any post-it notes. If you are using your phone for, for, your, for, for, for your videos, whether that's pre-recording for social media, or whether that's going on Zoom, there will be a tendency. So on my phone, obviously, my camera is here. When, I'm, when people use their phone, what they end up doing is they end up looking at themselves just here. So what you can do is keep looking down the lens there. Now, the other little advantage here is if you're, say if you're doing a video where you've got to deliver three points. So like, obviously, See, tonight, mine was energy, confidence, and contrast. I've now done this enough times that I've remembered it. I don't need to have a prompter. But if I was to do a fresh piece of content and I had three things I wanted to share and I was doing it on video, what I would do, so I didn't have to worry about remembering them, I would then write them on the post-it note as well. So it can be like a little, a little cue card so that you can quickly go, okay, that was point number one, that was point number two, that was point number three. But the ultimate goal here, is to get you to look down the lens. So that's a little ninja trick there with that you can do with your phone. And if you're using a camera, so this is a normal camera, 
then you can just on your on your computer screen you can just have like a just stick a piece of paper on there and just point to the camera lens just to remind you to to look down the camera it's recorded on the phone yeah yeah and it, it is it is really important that we do start making that eye contact obviously i'm i'm looking down at, at your comments now when if i'm delivering a present so if i'm delivering a pre presentation most of the time i'm looking straight down the lens if i'm doing a training so if i'm doing like a live zoom training i feel that it's okay to to look down and sort of uh, as if you're writing and taking notes of and that kind of thing um because it's a slightly different feel when you go into training mode but if you're delivering a presentation it would be as if you stood up on stage you need to make the eye contact and that eye contact comes through the lens the really good thing about virtual speaking is everybody now has a front row seat you when we're standing on stage and we're speaking to a big audience we have to scan the room to make eye contact contact over here then eye contact over here and then eye contact over here when we're on camera we make eye contact with everyone at exactly the same time it allows us to connect to loads of people so there are lots of benefits of of communicating virtually it also means that you can be anywhere in the world anywhere and you can be in front of, 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 of that audience. Distance has now become irrelevant with this virtual medium. Now that we've really embraced it, now that COVID has forced us to find out what's possible through this communication, it's, 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 it's a game changer. Now there are some people that have, have taken it seriously, some people that haven't. And front of a group of people now you just have to stand up in front of a camera it makes communication so much easier so i can see there's some comments coming in there at the side the energy your energy uh to your energy level in increasing till now my takeaways are many fantastic uh, the the three three secrets i would i would love to share more with you but obviously we are we're we're running out of time yeah contrast is a really cool thing you have to be captivating from rahi yeah you have to be captivating you ha if you want to be memorable in this world and remember there is so much noise out there now there is so much going on that you need to be memorable if somebody is if you're putting out videos on social media and you people are scrolling through you've got to look interesting as soon as people scrolled past your video you want to hook them in straight away Way. And you're going to do that by being big in the frame, by being interesting in the background. You want stuff that's going to stop people's attention. So you need to add that contrast. You need to be captivating from the very first moment. I think. Yes. Uh, yeah, sorry, uh, Kamal, uh, did you want to say anything or? Yeah, so before before Rahi begins the, you know, the how part, right? So just uh, taking a minute, how was that last one hour? One word from you, how that could be. So, you know, while just, we want to see, you know, how you felt, how you have seen, how you have experienced within this one hour, what the one word could be from you. What the one word could be from you, one word. So, so to me, you know, that unseen has become the most seen. And you know, what do I mean by the unseen is the intent. If, if you remember what Anthony said, intention. What nobody sees behind your mind, what is playing around towards the lens is contamination. It's intention and the energy, both you cannot see, but it, it contaminates in a way that hooks, that, you know, that connects, that engrossed, that, that you know, contributes, that impacts, that glues you. 
that's, that's to me it was, and I'm really keen to learn. But that is unveiled. That, you know, Kamru, that, I mean, great mind think alike, because I thought, okay, before you stop me, I thought I was going to about this, ask the same question, which is how was the last one hour and how, What value did you get out of it? And and you and I, I think we're thinking about that, you know, in the same track. So um, believe me, you know, I've been uh, I've been a fan of Anthony for God knows how five six years now since the day you know it's like uh, love at first sight, and then when he opened his voice and that love at first. the way the presenter was talking. And every time I capture the presenter, it's the way they're explaining things, I would actually find, as I said, five, six years back, Anthony did tell me this, this is what happens, this is what happens. So now Anthony in one hour, he has added so much value and People, I think you are here, and most people are here to learn how to become better speaker, how to influence, or how to communicate better. Because Anthony explained, it's, it's yes, we all have skills, but then the way it will be. So if you want to find out more, what we have done is that Anthony has got an amazing, amazing um, online course. I am a student of that. I know so many, those of you who know me, I'm a coach and I know all the top coaches. I know a lot of my colleagues and top coaches. They all have actually gone through Anthony's uh, program. And what we have done today is that, um, Kamrul, can I um, Do I have the sharing right? No, I cannot I share. So. Uh, yeah, can you can you give me the sharing? Because what Anthony has done is that Anthony has made a awesome program, and that that program actually takes you through at your own uh, speed. There is sixty small size videos. It's not that you have to spend hours and hours. Small size video and exercise. 60 of them all up, I think, um, seven or eight, and to them through 60 videos. And then, of course, that the video is the course curriculum, but then there's also, uh, I think, about another, um, you know, like the 60 pages of instructions. And there's so much thing that is in that program and which would like to offer you today, which I would like to pull up. Uh, do I have a screen share? No, I still cannot share a screen. Um, yeah, if we could, okay. yeah. So, so what I'm about to say is that, as I said, about five, six years back, when I first saw Anthony, I wanted you know, to bring his expertise to audiences to uh, my fellow Bangladeshis and people who are uh, logging in. And I thought, okay, people need to understand because they have, I have seen what a great impact Anthony had on me, my, my fellow coaches and people who are on stage. So I thought, okay, I told Anthony, please come with me. I've got a audience and they want to move ahead in their speaking game and what can we do for them? And what we have done through with the help of uh, CHK Network, Bold and Future Icons, we have put together a package. Um, normally, uh, it's right now, you know, since a lot of people now is speaking through the lenses, um, the course was uh, originally roughly about 200 and Tony has put it down because he wants to influence people. Uh, it was offered at 97 Australian dollars, but then 
for Bangladesh today. What we are doing is that we are offering the program at 499. Uh, and uh, Kamrul, uh, could you please give us the link? Um, yeah. Could give me the limit correction for online. Performance on Australia's Got Talent, and that was really, really captivating uh, program. But if you go to the page, you will see what I was about to display to you. Every time now I look, don't look at the lens, I feel Anthony's going to come with a whip and go, Pew. this is what I've taught, you know? <laughs> and so I'm actually looking at the screen. So what will happen is this is, I mean, you can go to the whole page, but this is where I would bring your attention to. You will learn how to create content. Understand you. This is really, really important because the last thing you don't want, you know, that what Anthony said, you got to be you. And this is where you make the most connections. But a lot of times we do not know who we are till someone actually shows who we are. Okay. So you got to be you. You got to be build the real confidence, not the fake confidence. Be an expert. You need to be projecting yourself as an expert. You need to learn the storytelling. I think that is the most powerful thing when you can tell a story to move people. And there are, of course, ways of telling story. There's a way of telling story for 20 minutes or tell the same story with a very similar impact in two seconds or two minutes. And then you have right now, even though we're talking about body language and all these things, technology plays a big part. And you need to be ahead, you know, like, like the way Anthony just switched from iPad to uh, full screen again, then back to, you know, it makes really helpful. So you could spend hours and hours researching on the internet or Anthony with his vast experience can bring it to you. Then how can you, you know, a lot of times, like now, I'm lost for words, okay? But then there are ways, there are ways where you basically do not get lost for words. And you need to also know that people have come to see you. You need to add value. You need to own the screen. And there's so many things that Anthony actually can teach. And all these things, what we have done is that Anthony has created a package. And I told Anthony, yes, please come. and make it available uh, to Bangladeshi audience. So uh, with the help of uh, CHK Network, uh, we have uh, made it possible. And right now um, the offer is for 499, uh, which is, I think this is the, um, if you, you know, I'll, I'll go straight honest. If you sound, if I sound like a, you know, salesperson, I am, because I think a lot of people, you have seen me speak over here. I see some familiar faces. I don't think you would ever see me go sign up. Okay, so that's what I am saying. Kamro, do we have right. a so link? This, this is basically, uh, you, know, uh, you know, I don't want to say, no, frankly speaking, yeah. I want to create a solution for you and me, which, which I trust, let me tell you very honestly, because as I told you honestly and sincerely, why I have you know, contacted Rahi and why we talk to bring, because I need it first, trust me, I need it first. And I trusted Anthony's way of delivering. I trusted Anthony's material. I trusted Anthony to become a coach for me. And that's why I brought it down even further, right? So what Anthony offered in Australia right now, it is half of the price, right, Anthony? What yeah. was the original price, right? Yeah, so the, the, the original price was up at the, the 997 Australian dollars. It's around, it's around about 1,000 Australian dollars. I've, I've reduced the price over November. 
Um, right. So, but with this, because I noticed that um, we've just had a link put up there for Go people ahead. to register for this. They, they need to use your link, though, don't they? Right. Um, um, we, we are just giving you our new link to to register for for triple nine taka. So, the whole point was you were selling this a thousand Australian dollar, which is roughly sixty five or 62,000 Bangladeshi taka when yep. we convert. So right now, why I am, I told, I am not selling, but I am giving you a solution, which I believe it works and working for me and will work. And that we have been able to brought it down to even five, less than 5,000 taka or even five price. So that's what we can offer. I mean, the rest is up to you. Uh, because it is it is needed for me, and that's why we brought it down. And I'm going to enjoy the lessons with my team, with some other people, definitely, because this is what the original purpose was. And the registration link is up, and we will customize the link for bold for bold members, uh, which is our strategic partner. We will give it to Kazivai for the bold team and also future leaders. We'll give it to future icon as well for their own segment, own invited people. So please feel free to look into what is there, you know, and feel free to reach out. And this is absolutely, honestly, sincerely, what I felt I would go for. And I'm happy to bring it down. I would like to now go for to our strategy partner, uh, the founder of Feature leaders and founder of Bold Kazivai. So, what would you say uh, come, on that? Come, come over just be, just before uh, uh, Kazivai comes on board. One of the way, on the, one of the main reason this conversation has started. There are so many bank directors and managers started reaching to me. They were saying like a lot of job shifts are happening, and the interviews and the. management and not only speaking it's happening through the lenses how can we and because they saw me speaking and they thought okay I need to do an interview i've never actually done anything through the lenses please tell me okay so that's how it all started Kajibai, please uh jump in thank you very much Rai. um i just went to the link i began because I'm so, so, so impressed. Uh, no need to overemphasize that. This is so much real value. But, but I found uh, $97 is equal to 6,058 taka. So maybe we need to work on this because uh, I was about to buy right now, except the amount. Um, because I wanted to give you a surprise, except I got surprise no, no it's okay i'm not i'm being authentic so i want to be the first buyer of this course to show that even a seasoned person i got so much value and i know i can do better because i will speak regionally now i will speak globally with this knowledge that's that's my endorsement exactly. i i echo you that was the whole purpose because i am you know, you know, preparing myself as an international speaker. And I spoke to uh, US, to UK, to uh, Netherlands, and some other countries. So I thought I need to learn first more. And I am actually the first buyer, even if also for this course, trust me, it's already done. So at That's least it. two, two buyers confirmed, I can tell you that. Um, so. I have that already got is. my account. Anthony, I really enjoyed this uh, presentation this evening. The time flies very fast, and I was actually mesmerized inside. I was inside the event. I was actually <laughs> fully yes. engaged with the presentation. Thank you so much. It's a really nice one. And I am definitely true. going to buy that one. Thank you, you know, so Anthony, let me, let me quickly say another thing. Many of our buyers uh, may not have credit cards to buy direct 
directly. So they can contact us, Bo, uh, uh, Bold or you know, CKH Network. You can pay the money, and on your behalf, we can pay the dollars on the card. I just need to tell, talk about the practicality. Can yes. I, can I jump in quickly? No, no, no. We we actually collecting Bangladeshi taka, so that's what the yeah. link, our local okay. link. Because okay. if it is on Anthony's, uh, it is in a, you know, ninety-seven dollar, you know, which is more than six thousand taka. Six thousand right. three hundred. Okay, that's the answer. We have brought it down to further. The, ah, you know, ah, ah. Skill I didn't have until today, so I'll be honest with you. You, I'm paying for today's class, not for the course. <laughs> you got it, man. <laughs> You are my friend. You are the oh, value dude. creator today. You are the value creator. Sorry, enough from me. I have another session coming up. You're all leaving, but I may leave a little early. Never mind me. But I'm your I'm your fan. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so how many, you know, what is the course? Is structure if Rahi can just briefly tell us, you know, the course structure and uh, what are the how many videos and you know, what are the lessons and so forth and so on. Or any question from the audience, anything, please feel free to ask. So, so Camero, I think it's just really important that we and sorry, Rahi, I think it's just really important that we highlight. I know that you put the link into the comments there. That link in the comments. is purely for people to go and look at the information about the course, but in order to, to buy, the only registration link I can see is the one that will take you directly to my page, which means that you won't be able to get it at that discounted rate. Exactly, exactly. I mean, I, uh, the, this link is the, uh, your website link, Anthony, not the one that uh, okay. specifically so made for us. Confusion. Yeah. So what we will do, what we'll do to avoid the confusion, we'll send the you know, Bangladeshi paid link to your email by tonight. You will get the email. So all of you, you will receive, um, I'm telling my team, maybe, maybe the link has been given wrong one. So backend, can I, can Rashid, can you give the right link? And we will send you email as well. So don't worry. Yeah, and so, and but just because of this process, it's going to be a case of that I'll have to. So I'll I'll, I'll be manually enter, entering you in. So so once you've made the payment, it will then take about twenty four hours for me to just get your name into the in, into the program. And so, yes, Rahi, uh, thank you okay, for the clarification. This was important. It might take a while because this is not a regular link. Someone no. may have to manually do it. Absolutely, we yeah. we will be waiting. No problem. After and, we make the payment. And I and I, I hope I hope it's all right in me saying this, but I I think that um, beforehand we were we were also discussing that. Anybody who who buys the program, what we'll do is in a few weeks' time, we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll we will also run a a one hour session, like a Q and A style session, where I'll I'll be able to answer any questions that anybody has, and that, that'll be. <laughs> yeah. So look, the the that pro program that that Rahi bought the the. The page up for that is those three circles I showed you the, the create, the connect, the captivate. That is the entire process broken down into 60 videos. Now, some of the videos are short, they may be five minutes long, other videos are about 20, but it's, it's designed so that you can sort of snack on it and, and take bits and pieces and then go and then go and implement it. There is a full workbook that comes with it, and then you also get a copy of. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see me. I don't think you can see me, but 
there's a copy of uh, of the book which I wrote as well, which is uh, which is all about personal interaction and how we can stand out, win trust, and influence every day. So you also get a free copy, an e copy of that as well. I think Rahi's got something up on the screen there. Yes. Yeah, so basically, that's this is this uh, this is the link. I will post uh, this is the registration link. It'll be good when we can when we can travel around the world freely again, and then maybe we can do a live session. Exactly. Yeah, def exactly. definitely, Anthony. So we are going to do it also uh, in the next year, in some time. That's for sure. Because you know the whole purpose of bringing you is basically me, me first, right? I wanted to learn <laughs> first. No, that's the truth. That's the honest and sincere confession. You know, I spoke. And that's the reason we will bring you in Dhaka in Bangladesh. And I want to have direct lesson from you, so influence everything. And then, of course, as a result, we will win the hearts and minds, isn't it, Anthony? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Being, being able to, to, to communicate is, is, is is, is, is becoming a skill that's that a lot of people are losing. We're, I think that society is training us out of out of how to communicate, and those people that can communicate are going to be the ones that are able to to lead a new pathway forwards and be able to 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 change to change the world. Beautiful. Absolutely. Uh, does, does anybody yeah. has any question for Anthony? So any I mean, question, comments? If you want to say a few words for Anthony, so please feel free to speak. I've, I've, I've uh, put the link there. Uh, this is the right. link to where you can actually um, go and sign up. You will, for you will also email directly to everyone, so no worries. Yeah, I'll, I'll email. I'll email, I'll email it. I'll email directly to you. So and any comments from anyone? Too. Any comments? Any anything that you want to say to win Anthony's heart? I know. Eight hours. <laughs> Anthony, so no, let's, you know, time is yours, next five minutes, please express and win. Anthony, anybody? Open for, open forum. So there was, there was one question that said, how can I use the materials? Not, not a hundred percent sure where that's going with that question, but uh, so it, it's all delivered online. So it's you. You can either watch it from your from your phone, or into communicating one on one. Also, standing on stage and speaking to other people. Within it, I show you how I go about creating a course. So, if you if you were to make some some video training, I show you exactly how to structure all, all of that. So, I go through everything. I show you how to create the content, how to build your confidence, how to deal with. All Those, 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 those moments where you might be up on up on stage or on camera, and all of a sudden you, you get asked an awkward question that you don't know the answer to, and then you start to freeze. So yeah, we go through we go through everything. So hopefully that answers your question. How can I use the materials? Yeah. But otherwise, I don't think there's any other. I can't see any other, any other questions there. Uh, one of the things I would like to add with this course is. Um, you know, you ha let's say you have uh, something in mind. Maybe you're uh, creating a marketing uh, material or a coaching course or uh, promoting some um, event or, uh, you know, like a, some training that you want to. The code, the way it is built up, that if you have that in your mind, you actually can follow the step by step <laughs> process. And at the end of the course, you would have your own training program, own coaching program. So that's how it's structured. So this is what I loved about it, about the course is, if you have something in your mind that I need to create a coaching course, marketing course or something, and you follow the steps, you follow all the videos and end of the course, 
there you have it, your own course ready for you. All right, so anybody want warming up to say something? Sorry, my uh, video. Thank you so much, Mr. Anthony Le. It is a great pleasure from Bangladesh side that uh, we have got you in this nice evening and we enjoyed a lot. And, and uh, Mr. Kamrul Hassan and the old uh, Kaji uh, M. Muhammad and uh, Mr. Riso Vesti, they are so fantastic um, trainer in Bangladesh. So it is our Pleasure and uh, we uh, to have you and it was really a nice presentation from you and uh, we learned a lot and enjoyed. Hope we see you again in future and uh, uh, since you have said that once we buy this program, we'll have one to one. Sajia Zahan Sinha, you raise your hand. Please go ahead. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Hello. I am Sajia Zahan Sinha. Uh, how are you all? I am. Uh, I enjoyed the session very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I got many new things which will help me to take my uh, further sessions. And thank you so much for giving us such a uh, nice opportunity. Thank you, Sikesh Network and Coach Kamru Hassan Bhaiya also. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Anyone else? Okay. We have already crossed two hours. Sorry for you know, pushing you. I know it's midnight over, right? At your, oh. you know, almost early morning to you in Australia. So we are going to close it. So those who are going to register to this program, what we'll do, we will also create a Facebook group with this closed community. And there will be many surprises, you know, in future in, in terms of how to develop, because this is what the number one skill I am up to. So I will do anything and everything possible to master the art and science to win the heart and mind. <laughs> so, uh, what I would like to say is that I think um, it's a great opportunity that we have all come together. And what I like about it is that, you know, it's, it's, we are all here. And I don't know what's your belief system or, you know, we are here for a reason. And we all came together, you know, from Australia, from um, Dhaka, from some, ma ma some Malaysia, from um, also from uh, India, and from Lebanon as well. From Lebanon, Lebanon. beautiful. So we've got from uh, Lebanon, and and some people may not even have disclosed where they are from, but 